Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today with three puzzles in one video. All of them are packing puzzles made and designed by Siebenstein Spiele in Germany. They are made from laser cut wood and the size is rather small. However, these might be some ideal puzzles to start with puzzling or start trying some packing puzzles because these three are packing puzzles and the target on each of these puzzles is to pack the individual pieces inside of each individual frame. This one is called any questions and this one is called uh, mit Schwung. It means something like with momentum or with swing, I don't know. And um, this is rated as a 5 out of a maximum of 7. This was a 6 out of a maximum of 7. And for this one, unfortunately, it came without any flyer. But at least I know the name. This one is called Kleinkunst, which is something like cabaret. I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't really make sense, I know. And I would like to solve or try to solve all of these three puzzles today. And to make this a little bit more exciting, let's estimate on how long it will take me to solve each individual piece. So please go to the comment section right now and post your individual estimation on how long it takes me to solve the Any Questions puzzle, the Kleinkunst puzzle or the Momentum puzzle. My personal estimation will be around 20 minutes for each individual puzzle, but let's see. Before we start, I would like to show you also something different. And these items are some dice, some regular dice and um, a lot of puzzle shops where I order some puzzles are also having some playing cards and also some dice and I thought what, what what is that story or what is so interesting about these dice and I just ordered some here. These for example are made out of a blue shiny resin. If I light them up you can see it a little bit better. And also from wood probably casted together and then somehow machined into this. They behave like regular dice. They definitely make dice games a little bit more exciting if you have something that looks pretty cool. And in addition, I ordered this one and this one I personally like even more as an engineer especially because they are made from metal. I think it's aluminum and they are called Eco dice and they do not look like regular dice, but they look super cool. So this, for example, is uh, number three. A number six, so based on how many of these lines you see on each side, it tells you. So for example, if you just throw them, you can see this is a three and this is a six. This is a six, this is a two. So a very interesting concept. I would assume that the center of gravity is not exactly in the center and therefore there is maybe a likelihood to get a certain number. However, we are not playing here any games of chance. On this channel, we are doing something for our brains. And these are puzzles. And after the spoiler break, you're gonna see my first attempt trying to solve these three puzzles. Last chance to post your estimation. Okay, so which one start first? Hmm, which one would you start first? I gonna take this one. <laughs> okay, so Kleinkunst first. Let me just start my stopwatch and here we go. If I push them against this side or this side or this side, there is a difference in how big this gap here is on the side. So here it's completely closed while over here as well as, oh no, here it's also closed and here it's not. And it seems like these edges are not 100 percent perpendicular but slightly angled. I'm not sure if this is a manufacturing issue or if it's on purpose and I would assume it's on purpose. You need to place them here in the correct on the correct edge to save a little bit of a tiny bit of package and this will enable you then to um, place pieces beside of each other which it would usually not possible if you place them in another direction. Now let me turn on the ring light, the top light. Hmm, so up to now, no clue. This does not look too bad. Part the last piece in. Ah. You see this? <laughs> Very close. Maybe other way around. Let's see. Hmm. 
No, tiny bit is missing. Oh, it's even more inside. One piece is, one little step here is missing actually. Oh yes, if I can get this in. Yes, and I can get it in. Yes, here we go, it's in. Wow, look at this. Looks very complex once it's in. But um, I have one complaint here, and this is the manufacturing quality of this puzzle. It seems the laser cutter was not calibrated correct. You can see how badly these pieces are cut. So they are not, as I mentioned at the beginning, they are not perpendicular cut, none of them. And this makes it in this case very difficult to get them in like so. And you see how this is sticking out. Not really what I call a satisfying. Yeah, this one fits in better. So you can see how big the difference is depending on how I fit it in. And I'm not sure if this is on purpose or not, but I don't like. If it's a feature, I don't like it. And if it's a quality issue, well, it can happen. It's still solvable, but it can be improved, as you see. It took me 21 minutes, around 21 minutes to finish this one. So I was pretty close with my 20 minute estimation per puzzle. Now, any questions? Here we go. And let's go. I hope I need to place all of these question marks with the right side up that I do not have any pieces like so you see this again on the edge it won't fit and I still don't know if this is on purpose or not oh so close so close come on one millimeter Oh, you see this here one millimeter this in here yes 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 here we go 23 minutes this time so I my estimation so far was quite good I'm really interested to see your estimations it felt definitely trickier than this one and now let's try the last one okay let's see start the stopwatch 21, 23, and now let's see the last one. Ah, by the way, this comes in assembled condition. I disassembled this a long time ago. So after I received it, like one year ago or something, I removed it from the box and I have no idea how it looked in the beginning. Unfortunately, this comes, as comes assembled. I have no idea why you why you del deliver a packing puzzle in assembled condition. And from first point of view, this looks easier than the other two. As I mentioned, the possibilities how you can place these pieces are very limited. So I think I can find the corner pieces. I am not sure. Also, I do not remember if this was like a chess board structure. You know what I'm talking about? Are there also any pieces in that color which fit here? Hmm. And on the other side, some of the brown pieces. Like so? No. Hmm. 
Yeah, this one definitely fits in this corner. You see how perfectly this fit? This must belong here. Maybe like so. Wow, yeah, this seems to fit very well. Okay, so it seems to be a chessboard pattern. I still can't imagine how this shape looks in the end, but this looks right, definitely right. Yes, here we go. You see this? And now this one maybe? No, 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 must be a brown piece. Yes, this one looks also right. I think I'm making good progress right now. Around, yeah, yeah, like so, like so. This looks right. And now a piece here for this corner, which can be only this one. Yes. Maybe the, the easiest, but also the coolest of the three. This pattern is completely crazy, man. Look at this. Wow. Okay, that's a cool one. That's a cool one. Oh, the last one, <laughs> the last one I hammered in. Let's stop it for now. Oh, it seems to be better. Let's see. Yes, this time it works well. It's not blocked anymore. All parts are loose. And this is the solution of the momentum or swing puzzle. So time for this one, 10 and a half. So this one, like 21 minutes. 23 minutes, 10 and a half minutes. Regarding the difficulty, I would rate this with a level three, three and two. But from satisfaction point of view, this one here is definitely the best one because it's so satisfying. If you start to realize how to build it, it's not predictable how this pattern will look like in the end. And that's a pretty cool feature. So even this one was the easiest one to solve. From my point of view, definitely this is the best one and the most fun one of these three. Now we're gonna check your times. Let's see who came closest. And that's it for today. I hope you liked this episode. If yes, leave a comment. Let me know what was your personal favorite. And until next time, keep on puzzling.